this is Steph Gray. I started the Change.org petition to get Sally Mae to stop their unemployment penalty. And today Sally Mae has called me a number of times starting at 8.30 in the morning. And they've just hung up without even saying anything when I pick up the phone. So I'm going to call them back and ask them just a few questions. Right now I'm calling the Sally Mae Office of the Customer Advocate. Uh, they're supposedly the best people to speak to, according to Consumerist.com. I'm currently unemployed and I'm unable to make payments. I also cannot afford the forbearance fee of $50 per loan uh, in, able, in order to avoid default. I understand, um, and I'm very worried about defaulting because I know that if I default, I may never be able to buy a home, buy a car, rent an apartment, or right. even get a job and at the so if, if you can, in any way, get the $150 at least to put the three loans in a forbearance for three months, I mean, that will at least give you some time. Uh, so you do have forbearance time available, but that would be the only option. There is no other postponement that we can do without having the fee or um, even, I mean, if you can't make that payment, you certainly, even if you got it up to a uh, current status, you still probably wouldn't even be able to make the interest only payment. Mm -hmm. There's no other way to lower monthly payments. Do you offer income-based repayment? Not for private loans, only for federal loans. But it, it would just be a nice action on the part of Sally Me to offer income-based repayment for private loans. Uh, yes, I would, and, and you can certainly send in a, a suggestion of that, but I mean, policy right now is they do not offer that. I know that I only have 24 months forbearance throughout the life of the loan. Um, after yeah. that, I, I'm basically not allowed to ever become unemployed again or to ever become underemployed or have a health care crisis. No, there will not be any other um, additions that after that period. So what happens to the $150 that I pay in forbearance fees? Does that get applied to the principal or the interest on my loan? No, that does not go to the loan. That is a forbearance fee that, that goes to the forbearance fee. Um, the loans just get postponed for the three months. Why is there a forbearance fee that doesn't apply to my de that doesn't get applied to my debt? It's, it's something we're offering you, but it, for the loan to be put in the forbearance, we charge a fee for that. But the federal loans, they they offer deferment for the unemployed without any sort of fee. Right, because the government guarantees them. These are not federal loans that are guaranteed by the government. Okay, so how much uh, if I paid the hundred and fifty dollars in forbearance fees? How much would my uh, interest go up? I mean, how, how much would my total uh, debt well, grow? I can tell you, if you give the forbearance, the capitalized interest that goes on to the principal would be $1,146.50. Okay. And the principal would be $1,146.50. And that would be on the principal So, because I'm unemployed, I would have to pay $150 that doesn't even go towards my debt, and then my total debt would grow by over $1,000? In only three yes, months? because that's the capitalized interest that would be accruing for that period of time. Wow, um, that, that's pretty scary. Well, I know that Sally May, in their dual role as both lender and collector, stands to profit from defaults, and that's why there's really no incentive to help students out uh, with some sort of safety net to avoid defaults. Because the only company that will consolidate my Sally May loans right now, because so many banks have pulled out since the credit crunch, it's Wells Fargo, and they'll offer me the same exact interest rate, which would change nothing. Did they give you a for consolidating? Yes, 9.75%. Okay, so it would be the same, so you're really not going to be saving anything? 
Uh, no, and when I originally took out my student loans, Sally Mae did offer consolidation, which would have allowed me to lower my, my monthly payments and interest rate, but in 2008, they took that option away. Right, they, they we no longer have that option. So what if I can't afford the forbearance fee and can't and consolidate with anyone else? Ten days, it will default. Sally may lobby Congress to strip away consumer protections and refinancing rights, such as the right to discharge, discharge student loan debt and bankruptcy. I mean, you can discharge child support debt, gambling debt. It seems like it's a lot better to be a deadbeat dad who went wild in Vegas than a low-income student who needed money for her education. Right, but these are the terms and conditions of these loans, and I mean, that's a policy. I can't say what the legislature is going to do about it. So there's no way to avoid defaults unless I give you guys $150 that I don't have. To do the forbearance fee, that's the only option that you'll have. Okay. Uh, thank you very much for your time. I would like to refer you to OccupyStudentDebt.com and RockTheDebt.com. Have a great day. You're welcome. Bye-bye. And there we have it. No choice but default.